OK, welcome to your new 5320. Some key features and buttons. The handset here with the, uh, the rubber strips. These are designed to help you shoulder the phone. The clear keys down the side of the screen are the line keys, and so these are used to access any features and functions you may have on the phone. The screen itself, the LCD screen, at the very, very top we have the time and the date, and then the screen is split into thirds. The top one third displays any soft prompts, and these are going to help you use the phone. And you can see here as I lift the handset, those prompts do disappear. Below the solid line, this is where we're going to see fixed features and functions of the phone. And at the very bottom, displaying your extension number. On the right hand side, the indicator lamp displays when you have a message waiting. Using the up and down arrow keys you can change the contrast of the screen but also you can change the volume of the handset if your caller is very softly spoken. The middle key activates hands free so this allows you to answer your calls hands free and then conduct a hands free conversation. The very end key is the mute or secrecy key so this allows you to shield yourself from your caller so that they can't hear you and then to switch it off again just depress the key again. The blue key is the menu key so using the menu key you can set up um, a divert and also program your own speed calls. One, two, three and a sort of swooshy arrow last number redial so the system is going to be set to store and memorize the last external number. The clear key with the flying envelope is the message indicator, so when you have a voicemail waiting, this is going to be flashing, and so you can use this key to access your voicemail messages. The red key is for um, enable you to uh, put a caller on hold, and then also to retrieve the call back from hold using the same key. The middle key is for transfer and for conference, so to transfer a caller we're going to be using this key followed by the extension number. If you want to set up a conference using the same key you can then dial the external party and then to bring them into the conference again select the, the, the conference key and bring them into the call. The very last key is the cancel key. And this is used when um, managing calls and when you're call handling um, so if you're trying to transfer a call and a, a member of staff isn't available, they're not there, they're not answering the phone, you can then use the cancel key then to bring yourself back to your original caller. 